YouTube. I am Vinny Barabucci. How you doing? Welcome back to a uh, another NHL 21 franchise mode. And uh, this was after the two games we just had, um, where we lost to Carolina 3 0 in an awful performance and had an awesome defensive battle against the uh, top team in the league, the Buffalo Sabres. Yes, you heard that correct. The top team in the league, the Buffalo Sabres. Even though we lost, best loss ever. Man, that, that was an awesome game. So, and then we, we got to play Pittsburgh, who we are 0-2 against. Um, we're home. So this is our final one at home against them. I just realized, when we play Buffalo again, it's at home. Wow. Okay. Oh, that's right. Don't they play them like three times a year or something like that? So, actually, we could wear like an alternate. So, maybe we're, uh, would ever do good? Yeah, but we're an alternate both times. That'll go good. Okay. So, while we're here, let's take a look at the the player stats and stuff and, and see what we can what we can do. Okay, Ovi's the only one that knows how to score in his fucking team. See, that's the thing. I would like to get some more uh, goal scoring help. Poor John Carlson, though. He was so helpful, but, you know, haven't been able to do much. You know, he's still injured and everything. Um, everybody else, you can see all the games they played. Yeah, look at that. Kempney. Okay, he's got two goals and assists, only three points. He's definitely <clears throat> the weak link of the team. I know his plus minus is 12, whatever. I don't care about that. Um, well, he's played 27 games. And then these, Dylan and Orlov, I mean, they're defensemen. I can't expect them to do much. So, like, yeah, and these are, like, the, the you know, second and third line defensemen. I mean, obviously, it's not like I'm going to get rid of Orlov, you know. But uh, I don't know. There's some, something about Michael Kempney, you know? There's something about him that I just, I don't know, I just don't feel like he's, you know, doing as good or whatever. <clears throat> I'm thinking about maybe trading away something like a like a Hathaway or something. Ponick has been doing all right. I don't know, man. Let, let's see what we can get for these guys anyways as it is, right? I love that they got a, a trade finder now. I fucking love that. Okay, so let's see. I'm just thinking, and like I said, plus our salary cap isn't the greatest, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, look at that. Uh, 81.225 uh, million out of 81 and a half. So, we almost bankrupt. I didn't want to go to a proposed trade. I wanted to go to trade finder. Thank you very much. Fine trade. That's what I'm thinking about getting rid of somebody just for draft picks. And I think... A defenseman might ought to do it. Okay, so this is by potential. Okay. Yeah, let me just go to defenseman specifically. And then I'm going to go by their overall because it'll make it easier to find. Okay. Let's see here. Now, Orlov's got some potential. I'm just curious as to what I could get for him. L let's, let's just test it out, huh? L let's try it out. Yeah, fine trade. Let's see what we get. Wow, Carl uh, Soderberg, no thanks. Yeah, some draft picks. Matthias Janmark, nah. Sam Gagne, no. Now I want if, if I'm gonna get, so, I want to get try and get somebody younger or whatever, you know. Ah, <sighs> Brandon Tanev, huh? What's his overall? Cause I like the picture offering up. What's his overall? He's an 80. Orlov is, what, an 83? Yeah, see, that's the thing. That's why I don't want to get rid of him. I'm just seeing what's out there, you know. Um, okay, that I don't like that every time you, like, leave a trade or whatever, you got to do it all over again. Like, no, I just want to, you know, do this stuff kind of quick, you know. All right. How, how many are there? Oh, only five. Okay. So there was only one left. And, again, it was with Pittsburgh Brian Rust. Yeah, no. Okay, so we'll decline that, decline that, decline, yeah, decline, uh, decline all of it. Never mind. Okay. Um. Okay, we'll go with defenseman. Defenseman, but it's like, do I feel like I have somebody better to replace him? No, but you know, we we got some younger guys up and waiting and stuff too. You know, so I'm not worried about that. Um. Well, Kevin, you see, he's got some good trade value. I don't think dueling the Nick Jensen. Do I even have him playing? 
Oh. Wait, isn't he in the AHL? So, yeah, because 23 games, 16 assists. Yeah, there's no fucking way. Yeah, he's in the he's in the AHL right now. Okay. Um, ben Reemsdyke. I got six assists. Okay. Yeah, see, two goals, one assist. Eh. You know, it says top 4D, but... Eh. You know, eh. All right. Let's let's find a trade for him. So we got ten options here. Boston, your picks might not be worth too much. I don't even. I'd have to look at the team. Yeah, Sabers. Well, we know how good you guys are doing. So no, you don't need any help. They <laughs> they really want to get rid of Yamark, don't they? Um, no. Mm mm. Well, maybe for draft picks or something. But I'd have to see which team is doing, I guess, the worst. You know out of them I would take like the worst draft picks we got not Buffalo but we got Boston we got Dallas Nashville and Ottawa and Tampa Bay let me see let me see here can I count on Ottawa being bad again <laughs> probably not because this is you know a weird game Atlantic where's Ottawa Oh, they're right at the bottom. Oh, never mind. Okay, so they're just as bad as they are in real life. Okay, cool. Detroit is all of a sudden good. But look at it. Buffalo and Detroit. Yeah, fucking right. Poor Ottawa. Even this game can't even help their ass. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Ottawa fans. But hey, at least you got your uh, old uniform back, right? Eh? Damn. Okay, wow. Chicago, no. Nashville, Dallas, no. Okay. So, Ottawa. Oh, I hate to do that to Kepney, but, they're, you know, their draft picks can end up being really good draft picks, too. You know what I mean? Let me see real quick. Me, oh, I didn't mean to edit lines. I meant to look to see the players that are in our, in our thing, because we'd have to bring somebody up, right? You know, we'd have to bring up somebody from the AHL to play defenseman for us. You know what I could try first, right? Instead of just straight up trading Kempney. It's just because, of, you know, he's got the, the salary or whatever. Van Reem's like, eh. I just wanted to get rid of that 2.5 mil. Just to have some kind of, you know, <clears throat> salary. But I'm thinking we could send Kempney back down, right? <clears throat> Remember, he only had two goals and one assist in like 27 games. And we could bring up Nick Jackson. Oh wait, no, I can't because it tells me I don't have enough uh that I don't have enough money. Or whatever. So yeah, that that's why I was gonna get rid of Kempney. <clears throat> That'll give us a chance to try out Jensen. And if not, then I'll bring up one of the young guns. Honestly. Um <clears throat> As far as uh, the, the the wingers go. Shit, I meant to go to roster moves again. Damn it. Well, we can look. We got Haglin there, but uh Hathaway, Ponick. Yeah, I'm thinking like Hathaway and Haglin maybe. I understand that they're fourth line centers, but still, you know. Could I bring up somebody that's, you know, even better? I think we got a left winger like Daniel Cart. Yeah. But he's only a seven, uh, 77. Yeah, I would trade him too. I mean, I know it's not, it's not much, but, uh. You know, once once you get at that age and you're exact and that's all you're gonna be, like, eh, you kind of no use to me anymore. <laughs> Honestly, I like to watch the uh, the young guns uh, go up. So let's see what's in the system for right wingers. Oh, we got Sprong waiting. See, and he's a 79 dude. He could he could come right up, man. He could come right up, and he could play a winger spot or whatever. What about left wingers? Yeah. Mm. Okay, that's why I got this thing set so we could draft a left winger. Yeah, I I like Sprong a lot, <clears throat> and I think he could definitely come up. So, with that being said, I'm thinking about trading Hathaway, right? Three goals, four assists. ponix has got five goals, four assists, and so not much really different. Um, but Ponick always seems to be doing really well. He's playing really well in that fourth line. So, I'm thinking about keeping him and then, like, trading Carr. Uh, we'll go with Carr, Hathaway, and maybe we'll keep Kempney. We'll see. We'll see. All right. 
Let's go to let's find a trade. Let's get rid of car real quick. Cause that honestly, car. No offense, dude, but you're kind of dead weight to me. <laughs> like, like legit. There's like no use for you. I don't even have use for you in the AHL. So, yeah. I mean, I'll even take like a seventh round pick. <laughs> Boston's like seventh, you say? <laughs> oh damn! Like that's all they're offering too. Damn. Oh man, who's even bad? None of these teams, right? They're all good, aren't they? Shit. All right. I'll do a trade with Winnipeg just because, you know, I like them. So we'll do that. Accept it. There you go. Peace out, my dude. Okay. And what else do we see? Right side, right wingers. We're going to go with Garnet Hathaway. Let's see. Yeah, because I, honestly, I would do actually Hathaway and Ponick in a two-for-one, but I don't have two wingers that are able to come up like that. Oh, they want to give me a sixth and a seventh. So do they. Calgary's like, how about two sevenths? How about no? Damn. What, they really want to get rid of God. <laughs> Damn. Okay. No, no okay. Uh, well, I want a sixth and a seventh. All right, how's Dallas doing? Look at Dallas and I think Boston's doing. It's, it's, the problem is it's like a lot of these teams because they're buying. You know th that's why because they're buying. Okay. Oh, Vegas isn't even doing good. Okay. How about Dallas? They're doing pretty good. Oh, St. Louis isn't. Damn, I could have traded with them instead of Winnipeg. And, and Tampa Bay's doing pretty good. Boston's doing all right. Hmm. Actually, I might go with Vegas then. Especially if they're offering like a 6th and a 7th. That'd be good. And if not, then I can go with Dallas or... What is Calgary got? Two sevens or something they were offering? Yeah. Alright. I'll tell you what though. This is going to clear up some of this uh, cap space though. Definitely is going to clear that up. So, I know I should probably get rid of... Hmm. Let, let's see. Do I get a better deal with Ponick or no? Because, I mean... No trades found. Wow. They said they didn't even want him. <laughs> oh, damn. I don't want to take too long so we can get into a game. All right. What's Vegas got? See, they're offering only sevens, though. Okay, St. Louis isn't doing that good. All right. You can go to St. Louis. Yep, Sprong called up the NHL. Hey, you get it. Yep, go to roster moves, unfilled lines. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. All right. So let's see here. Are they going to have us do the AHL first? Or no? Well, edit lines. Oh, I thought you guys called up Sprong. We just put him in there. They didn't call up Sprong. Son of a bitch. Is he scratched? No. Because they're fucking morons. Son of a bitch. Wait, who's, who scratched again? Oh, Carlson because of their end. Vanacek. Honestly, dude. I, oh, you know what? There's another one. I should get rid of Craig Anderson. Have uh, Vanacek down in the... Uh, um, what do you call it? Down in the AHL. So that way he can grow too. Because I imagine Lundquist ain't going to last much longer. So, you know. I know. I got to go to roster moves. I know. He's okay. Right wingers. NHL in the system. Daniel Sprong. Confirm. There we go. Fixed. Now we go to edit lines. And we put Daniel Sprong in there. Substitute in all lines. Boom. There we go. Ponick can stay in the third line. Welcome to the NHL, Mr. Daniel Sprong. I hope you enjoy it. I know you had your 7 goals and 18 assists and 28 games played. You're probably the star of our AHL team. Hopefully you can do good on the fourth line. Might move you up to the third, though, depending how on how you do. Okay. Uh, we can actually call up one more guy, I think. But I think we're good for now. All right, let me see if it fucked up the power plays. I hope it didn't. Okay, no, defensemen are still the same. Everything's good. 
yeah, four man power play. Everything's good. Yep, looks like it. Penalty kill. Yep, okay. Sprong, yeah, he can play in the first. You know what? We'll move up Ponic. There. Okay, three man penalty kill. There. Okay, cool. The one other thing is the shootouts. How how good really is Backstrom with his shooting percentage? Because I just want to see. Yeah, Carlson, if we had him in, we could definitely have it. We know Ovi, Kuzi, and then, yeah, Carlson's up there, too. Yeah, because I was thinking about moving Oshi up there. Yeah, Schultz, okay. Schultz, Oshi, Backstrom. Oh, what's, what's uh, Verona at, then? Wait, let me see real quick. Is Verona up there? Yeah, okay, so that makes sense. Okay, let's uh, let's do that. No, 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 stay there. And there we go. Okay, sounds great. I like it that way. All right. Cool. Oh. Oh, okay, now Hershey's got invalid lines. Okay. Uh, shit. Oh, wait, there's Nick Jensen. Well, oh. Why? Okay. Scratch him. Yeah. He's a left defense, so scratch him. Okay, best left defenseman. No, left defense would be Alexiev. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, why isn't Carmichael? What? Pinho? What the fuck is going on? Oh, this is the shootout. Man, what the fuck? I'm sitting. Pff, I'm sitting here. Son of a bitch. All right, defense. Matter of fact, how you been doing? Okay, five assists in eleven games. How you been doing, Seagan Haller? Three goals, ten assists. All right. Put Seagan Haller there. Thank you. And we will put Jensen there. Thank you. What if I? Nothing. It doesn't change. Don't be scratching that. Hey. Yeah, you. Don't be scratching. <laughs> ay ay ay. Okay. And now we got the offense. Oh boy. Okay, this is gonna be a bitch, isn't it? Oh, this is where Carmichael goes, duh. Okay, and then I think the right wing yeah, it's gonna be Leeson. Okay. Scratch him. Put Leeson there. And is anybody a winger here? No, you guys are centers. Of course you are. Okay. Who would be next in line? Uh. Fuck. You know what? Fuck it. We'll put Matt Molson there. There. That's good. That's good. Okay. My bad. Now I gotta go. Really? Now I gotta do the power play too? Like, really? Okay. You there. Okay, Jensen here, and who is next? Oh, uh, Paul LaDuc. I think it's Paul, right? Sure is. Hey, I remembered your name. Good for you. <laughs> okay. There, Jensen. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get into a game. I uh, might be able to. Might be able to. Ah, uh, jeez. Come on, man. I have a bitch. <laughs> really? Really? Why? Like, why? <laughs> okay, there. Three on three. Okay, Jensen. I can move him here because I don't feel like doing all this shit. <laughs> Ladu. Alexiev. And. No, not the center. Right wing. Leeson. There. Okay? Shootout. Uh. Alright. 
Who's got the best shooting? I did not mean to do that. Oh, gee, you know what? It doesn't even fucking matter, does it? Alright. Go with Jensen. Uh, nope. Anybody that's not a defenseman? Why do all our defensemen have the best shooting? Like what? Alright. Put in that other guy. That, uh, yeah, him. Okay? There. Everything's good now. Yeah? Knack, knack, good, good. Okay. There. <laughs> Oh, jeez. I don't even know if I can get into a game, to be honest with you. I really don't. Damn. Yeah, because we're already at like 20 minutes. Shit. Damn. Okay, well. Uh, we're going to save it for now. I'll mark this as like a different one or something like that because we can't get into a game. And I'll just mark it as like, you know, just trades and stuff. You know, and make sure that you guys know that there's no gameplay in this one so I don't know how many people would actually watch this but uh yeah I don't know I'm even contemplating if I should even upload this I honestly thought we would be able to get into a game but uh I guess not so anyways if you guys enjoyed the video you know what to do peace out everyone bye